Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the 30 days of automation testing. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 Selenium exception that you should know and how to handle them with the code. I'm going to give you example and trust me guys, these are the questions uh, related to the Selenium exception. Definitely uh, welcome in any kind of interview that you are going to give in the future. All right. So I'm excited to share all the information. So let's get started. Right. All right, guys. So let's uh, quickly go through the uh, what is exception, uh, exception in that case. So uh, exception is basically any kind of a unwanted event which occurs during the execution of program. For so if you are doing uh, any kind of arith arithmetic operation, right? So meanwhile, while you are dividing something, right? So you will have some arithmetic exception in that case. So suppose division by zero is there. So this is what exception means, right? Uh, it can be. Uh, let's take another another example. For example you are trying to access an element of, for example 11th element of an array which contain uh, 10 element right so it will give you an array out of bound exception right so this is what exception is all about uh, where you are basically uh, creating or due to some natural way or unnatural way uh, there is some unwanted event is happening with your program right so uh, this is all about the exception Exception handling is very important, trust me guys, and it's a part of a developing any kind of automation script or Selenium script that you are doing. And it's very crucial for interview also. So these are the things the C Selenium exception that I'm going to discuss about, right? Trust me, they are going to come, uh, they, people will going to ask you in your interview version also. So let's talk about the types of exception. Uh, so we have first one, which is errors. Errors are basically, which is not controlled by any kind of a user. These like runtime due to certain un uncertain conditions, right? It can be like stack overflow. For example, if you are running a program and stack overflow happens on your machine, that is like an error, right? Now the broadly, they are broadly divided mostly into the checked and unchecked exceptions, right? People are going to ask this question, pay attention. Uh, checked, uh, checked exceptions are basically, uh, these are basically caught by the compile time, right? For example, if you are trying to access a particular file, the path that you have given, if the file doesn't exist, compiler will know and it will basically mention, uh, it will basically throw an error that, okay, file not found. This is like a checked exception because compiler can check for it, right? If we talk about unchecked exception, it is like uh, you, uh, it's similar to a runtime is exceptions and it cannot be caught by at the compile time. For example, there's a logic bug, right? Uh, if you have accessing a particular uh, area element, which is, which is right now not available or it is beyond or it's uh, more than the uh, index of the array that you are accessing uh, then you will get the array index bound which is the unchecked exception in that case right so this is the typical uh, flow looks like we have object class we have throwable the exceptions and errors errors can be virtual uh, machines uh, error right assertion error and in the exception we have checked and unchecked checked are basically compile time exception which can be caused by the uh, compile time or IO exceptions and checked are basically runtime null pointer errors and many more. Make sense? Right. And if they are like further, if we talk about the hierarchy of Java exceptions, we need to understand the Java exception because uh, after that we can understand better about the Selenium exceptions, right? Similarly, you can have object, throwable, errors, out of memory, different concepts, file note exception and bunch of more exceptions, right? That you can go through it. Uh, all the links are in the description. Don't worry about it. Now let's talk about the how do you handle your exceptions, right? What there are like three ways you can handle the exception in uh, Java, especially. What you can use, you can use try catch block, which is similar to try. Uh, your code is there, and after that you catch. In catch, what you can do is that you can mention the exception. Uh, for example, uh, suppose uh, we are doing some work where we think that okay, there can be a case of array index bound exception can occur we can basically add here and we can do the e dot print trace to get the logs why it is failing you can have a uh, try catch finally blocks if you want to do some final work uh, for example try will execute it, execute it and uh, catch is there and after that finally uh, if uh, catch will be executed if there is a particular fail in uh, try right but finally will be executed every time so if you want to use that right uh, another interesting way to handle any exception is using the throw keyword. What you do is that uh, you'll add throws exception in your function, uh, basically function with your function 
and uh, you can throw with the this thing basically you can create a new object of exception and here at in that basically you can mention the invalid values uh, any kind of a message that you would like to do right so that's how you can handle it let's talk about the important one which is the top 10 uh, selenium exception right uh, these are it the first one is related to the not found exception i'm going to show the demo of it right so in the not found exception is basically similar to uh, whenever you are accessing anything which is not found right uh, self explanatory for example if you are accessing a if you want to access no such a window exception means uh, you your web driver which driver that you are running your selenium script right if you if you try to switch to an invalid window or window doesn't exist it will give you the no such a window exception uh, if you were if you are trying to uh, switch to a particular invalid frame it will give you no such a frame exception if you want to uh, access a element which is not available at runtime, it will say no such a element exception, right? Uh, similarly, the you can have no alert present if you are trying to uh, basically access or switch to a particular alert using the driver dot switch to dot alert, right? That we have discussed earlier in the uh, videos, right? If you are trying to switch with the invalid alert, you will get this exception, right? Similarly, we have timeout timeout exception, which is basically the uh, this command didn't complete for a specific time. For example, you are running a particular command and which, uh, which basically there is a timeout in that case, it will throw a time at reception. For example, the element didn't display at the specific time that you wanted to display. It will say the time at reception in that case. Uh, you can have stale element uh, reference reception, which basically means uh, the reference element is no longer present on the DOM page. You uh, so during this uh, single page applications or progressive web application right uh, you can have stale element uh, reference exceptions where your element that you are accessing trying to access in the dom right it is not available probably you have switched to another window uh, in another window frame right so if you are trying to access that element it is not available it will give you the stale element reference exception in that case right uh, in this example i have already given you right uh, the item belong to a different frame uh then the current one so and if you wanted to access it it will say that okay uh i didn't find the element uh it's a stale element probably and you are access you want to re get the reference of it so stale element reference in that case right uh it is due to the navigation to another page where or you can have dome has a refresh or if you have switched to another frame or a window right so it can occur due to these three reasons Invalid state is basically uh, you can have two more two things right. Uh, you can have element not visible. Uh, for example, let's uh, talk about this. Uh, in in spite of element be present in the DOM, it is not visible as of now, right? Uh, it is available in the DOM. It's in your HTML page, but it is not visible at, at the time. So it will say element not visible in that case. For example, if you have a value of hidden type right in the element, sometimes we do have right in the input box. We have hit type is equal to hidden. So you, uh, they will throw the element not visible exception. Similarly, you can have element not selectable. Uh, if the element is present in the DOM, but is, we are not able to select, uh, then definitely it, it will give you an exception, which is the element not selectable, right? So uh, this is a typical diagram of the top uh, Selenium exceptions. We have not found in not found. We have no alert, no such a context, no such element, no frame that we have discussed earlier. Invalid element state we have not interactable, not selectable, not visible, right? If the element is not interactable, basically means uh, uh, basically means uh, we are you are uh, the element is in the DOM, but uh, Selenium web driver is not able to interact because there can be uh, certain other elements are coming, right? So how do you handle it? You can use expected conditions or you can click that element using JavaScript, right? So that is like a solution that I'm giving you, right? Uh, if we talk about exceptions, a uh, normal exception, we have object throwable exception. And after that, we have web driver exception in that case, right? So the last, not the least, which is the session not found exception, which is basically web driver is acting immediately after quitting the browser. Uh, you have quit the browser, but web driver is trying to uh, basically do some uh, task. It will basically say that, okay, session not found in that case, it will give you an exception in that case make sense right so these are the cover these are the exception which definitely will come in that case so how do you handle it it's very simple one you can use try catch block again i'm telling you you can have multiple catch block 
right so you can have uh, exception e1 exception 2 e2 so you can add more exception catch blocks to catch it out for example you have written a code that and uh, you can add arithmetic exception uh, array out of one exception basically if you want to catch it right so let me show you a demo simple one that we have done earlier right so no not found exception what you can do is that uh, i have a iframe right uh, so hi here i have iframe right if a uh, typical code will be like this right uh, we need to uh, go to the url you need to switch to the frame and then type something if you i want to type something here right but if if uh, if 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 i don't switch here if i don't switch if i try to find the element of this element it will say not found in that case right so not found reception will be there and this will be printed Similarly, we have JavaScript alert and if I uh, if I don't click the JavaScript alert, so there will be a no alert in this case. And if you try to switch to that alert, it will give you the no, al no alert present exception in that case. Right. So let me show you. Uh, let's run quickly and see the demo if it is working fine for us or not. Right. And it's starting it. And. Uh, Right. Uh, here you will see not found, which basically means nothing is working and you will see no alert. It means our receptions are working fine. And here are the certain stack threads which can help you to debug it. Right. So uh, that is all about it. Uh, that is all about the top 10 Selenium exception and how to handle with the code. You can handle them with the tri product. product. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, trust me, guys, these are the questions will definitely come in your interview questions. So be prepared for that. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.